Hello gardening fans, on this episode of Street Smart Gardener we're going to talk about winterizing your landscape and some general care practices that you can follow uh, when uh, putting your landscape to bed. Three circumstances can damage your shrubs, uh, wind, desiccation, and salt. Desiccation is simply dehydrating. Try to water your evergreens right up until ground freeze, especially your newly planted ones. This will help them uptake as much water as they can before the ground freezes. Some products that we used for our evergreens, uh, one here is Wilt Proof. We like to spray these on when the temperatures are at least 50 degrees, and this will help keep the plant from perspiring. As winter approaches, our deer and rabbits uh, become uh, a little more hungry, so we like to apply liquid fence. Uh, in the rutting season especially, the deer are gonna browse on your landscape. Uh, so we like using the liquid fence. Uh, you might have to apply it a few times. I will warn you, it's stinks all right yes it stinks it's gonna smell nasty and you're gonna be like what is that smell and your neighbors are gonna be like man what is that smell but trust me it'll be gone in 24 hours and uh, it works another simple product that's been around for years is burlap burlap helps buffer the wind off the foliage and keeps that um, from dehydrating on your evergreens. Not only your evergreens, but your Japanese maples or something tender you just planted in the landscape. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few things, a tip that I developed, and it will avoid a nightmare uh, when it's 30 degrees below zero and you, all of a sudden your burlap screens come down and you're out there fighting and it's cursing and you're mad because the guy at the garden center told you to use it. So I'm gonna help you out with that and show you something very simple to do. We use some nice hardwood stakes here we have at the garden center. You notice we get a, we have to put a pencil point on them to save yourself grief. give you a little street smart tip. This wasn't taught in a textbook. This is just from years of experience on the job, so I didn't have to go back and fix uh, burlap at my customers' uh, job sites. So what we did is you can buy wood lath, or we've taken some material here and just ripped it on the table saw. But what I like to do, first I go back where I started. I got a simple handheld drill. I get that down in the soil a little where I started, and I'm gonna just pinch that burlap. Then I go around to each stake and I'll put another lath. Simple. I'll never have to come out during the winter months and repair this burlap. It's secure. Less grief and aggravation. Gentlemen, we are here. As we conclude this episode of Street Smart Gardener, a lot of us have ornamental grasses in uh, the landscape, and I want to give you a street smart tip that'll help you. I'd recommend leaving the ornamental grasses up for the winter months as the, as the energy resides to the plant and cut them back in March and April. But many people don't want to wait. They don't like the looks or they don't like the litter. So I'm going to give you a little tip. I like to take a string and I'm going to tie a loop in it. Very simple loop. Just take this, wrap it around and through. Simple. Now I got a loop. And what I'm going to do with this particular grass, I'm going to get right down underneath it. We're going to go around the base of it. We're going to thread that loop through. Maybe bring it up just a little and then cinch it. Now, 
You can go up through. That's a sailor's knot, by the way, for two, you sailboaters who know how to tie a sail. And then just bring that back, come back down and reef the original one, and tie it off. Now, yeah, it, it doesn't look as graceful as it did when it was relaxed, but it'll keep it upright and it'll keep the litter from getting all over your landscape. And when you're ready to cut it down, it's a lot easier. You've already tied the plant up, so you want to just take your shears. You can use head shears, um, reciprocating electric or gas shears, just something. Cut that grass off real close to the ground as you can get it. Then you got this right here to hold, pick it up, and then discard it into the compost bin. Or what I love to do with them is I use them for starting my campfires. They're great. You don't need any gas or anything or papers. You just let these dry out, store them in a dry place, bring them out, put them in your campfire, boom. For any additional information, you can contact us or come visit us at WW Nursery and Garden Center in Apple Lake in New York. Because remember, you can do it. Let's go green together.